Hello and welcome to our channel. This is the first of the travel tips that we plan on putting up on the site. This one has to do with uh, travel security, both physical and electronic. In this video, we'll show you how to secure the door of an Airbnb or a hotel. Additionally, we'll show you uh, a very interesting headlamp and a travel router to secure your internet connection and much more. Let me show you what's in my travel security pack. First item is for physical security. I'll show you how this is used to lock a door. Second item is a multi-purpose light. This has obviously a very bright light. Additionally, it has a night preserving light. One of the cool things about this light is the motion detection feature. Motion will turn it on and turn it off. This comes in very handy so you're not fumbling in the dark. Just swipe your hand over and the light will come on. It also serves as a motion detector. The light is recharged by USB and uh, it will last quite a long time on a single charge. I think having a good light is one of the most useful things you can have to find your way around in the dark. With this particular light you get uh, several lighting levels as well as the red vision preserving uh, night light, the ability to recharge from USB, and the motion detection is just an additional add-on. So strongly recommend this little headlamp. You can find this and other similar lights on Amazon. Uh, price on these things is in the low $20 range. The next item in our safety pouch is a travel router with a VPN connection. A second travel router, which I'll explain how it's used with the first travel router. And a WISE camera. These are inexpensive cameras and I'll show you how that's used. At this point you're probably wondering, what's this router thing and why do I need that? Well, let me explain to you all the benefits of a router. The first benefit is a Wi-Fi router provides you with a Wi-Fi network where there's only a cable connection. This is often the case in many old hotels and uh, you may go into an Airbnb where they don't provide you with a Wi-Fi password, in which case all you need to do is connect the router with the cable to the existing router. There's no need for you to know the local uh, password. To create your own Wi-Fi network and use your devices. I have also used a Wi-Fi router in a shared office environment. This will drive the local IT guys nuts sometimes. 
I suggest you thread carefully when connecting your own Wi-Fi uh, router into an office network, though uh, driving the IT guys crazy is typically not a good idea if you're an employee or a contractor of the business. Another benefit of your own Wi-Fi router is you can have a VPN or multiple VPN configurations preloaded on the router. So when you connect your devices to it, you're already uh, set up with a VPN without having to do that at each individual device. In our opinion, connecting to any network outside your home or office should be done through a VPN. We are not sponsored by anyone, but we do recommend a couple of VPNs. Uh, we highly recommend Nord and uh, Proton VPN. I think they're both exceptional. I think Nord offers the most access point there in flexibility. If you want to access um, Netflix or any of the other services uh, from another country, Nord is a way to go. If your concern is more with a high level of security, uh, consider Proton and at the same time I would suggest you consider Proton Mail as well. One of the other great applications for a Wi-Fi travel router is if you're purchasing an internet connection which uh, locks you into a single device uh, through MAC address or other means is to instead connect through a uh, Wi-Fi travel router. That would allow you to connect multiple devices to that single uh, connection because it will see it all as a single MAC address and not the multiple addresses of your devices, particularly if you're using the VPN as well. Uh, this works particularly well on cruises. Uh, we're not suggesting that you steal service, but it's a, an application that you should be aware of and behave accordingly. In any case, the travel router simply takes a USB uh, connection and I like using these flat cables because you can run them just about anywhere. Uh, the switch will turn on the VPN, turn it on and off, and you can see where this will run in 2G and 5G. This uh, can be easily hidden uh, if you're using it. That's one of the purposes of the flat cable. It'll, you can hide it inside a Kleenex box or uh, hide it behind the counter, and the lights in the front will tell you the operational status of the router as you can see here. The router can be wired directly through a cable to a WAN served as a Wi-Fi repeater connected to a cellular modem or tethered to a USB modem.